Give me one sec. I need paper. Team Fuck. Oh. This is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, I bought I bought the two rerolls. I did buy the two rerolls. I kind of did the buying in a weird way so that I could see who was in the team and who wasn't. Iguana be like, I love that name, man. I love that name. So a nice early game, a nice early chaos team. Well. Let's see. You usually start less crocs for the extra reroll. Um, yeah, I honestly. Slick, my view of people with Steam stream sniping me, I've always said I really couldn't care less. You know what? If I'm going to play someone, I may as well play someone who's in the chat and have a laugh with them about it. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Good old, good old nosedive tries to snipe me with his dwarves every single time I play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. He's been trying to snipe me with his dwarves for ages. Um, but no, we've had um, we've had we've had quite a few games against people in the chat. Um, I've done a white in some another time. I mean, Farber Creek guy was in chat quite a bit. He's uh, he crushed me once. Uh, your long lost bro. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, right. Do I want to go? Nah, you know what? I'm not actually sure. You know what, for once, this actually seems like a fairly reasonable way to protect the skinks, but I don't know. Is this not... Maybe... Low TB chaos. Yeah, I would very much love to um, give him a pasting, but... I don't really know how to. Um, yeah, see, you can't say don't don't, don't say don't say easy win. Like I, I'm again like, and and I'm not saying this like literally, honestly. Like, I should be able to do okay because obviously I know how to play Blood Bowl. But this is literally like the first time I've played Liz a lizard men team. Like I've never ever I've never played lizard men in in my life in my whole Blood Bowl career. I've only really played human. Like that's it. Before before Blood Bowl two, I played human. That was that was all I did. <laughs> so it, it's it's all it's all a bit of a learning process. Like my general plan is hit stuff and protect the skinks. So let's see let's see what happens. O hopefully it goes well. Yes, uh, no, exactly. Yeah, I've played a game. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying oh, you know. I am. Um, I'm certainly not saying. Oh, I've never played Skinks, therefore I'm going to get crushed. That's not. I just. Um, I just. Uh, it's like the finer points. I think anyone that plays one team, anyone that anyone that's really good with a specific team, would say like, oh, you know, I'm. Like I, I think there are definitely some finer points to some of the teams, which definitely. Uh, which definitely help you out playing them after a while. But I do like, I'm looking forward to this actually. I'm looking forward to this. Um, right, yeah, some, someone actually said in chat, uh, read Stunty. And actually that's a good idea because there's a lot of skills in this game. I kind of know what they do, but don't exactly know what they do. Uh, ignore any tackle zones on the square areas, maybe to the dodge roll, but you must subtract one from the roll when they pass. In addition, rolls of seven or nine. That's KO'd and badly hurt. Okay. So injury rolls are... Okay, fair enough. Makes makes sense. So injury rolls are worse, which I knew. But then the tackle zone thing is quite nice. Sweet. 
need to scoop up that ball and quickly. So we are golden. We are golden. I feel like um, I feel ball. like we might be all right. We would definitely like him to throw an iffy dot and if he block early on, get rid of a reroll. But never mind. Oh, so uh, okay. Let's just dodge out. And the croc says, "Good old bonehead." Come on, guys. Together. Skinks are more obnoxious than gutter runners. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I get that. The first sentence is the important one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore the tackle zones. Yeah. No, that is cool. That is cool. Yeah, that 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 explains a lot. Actually, I never knew. I knew Stunty was good, but I never knew exactly what Stunty did. Like, it never occurred to me to read out exactly what he did. Ugh. Instant stun. Never mind. No. No, you cannot blitz my skink. Get out. We will have none of that. You leave my skinks alone, good sir. Oh, I do love a cup of tea. A plus edgy skink can walk right, walks right into your cage and strip for you. That that definitely sounds like it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that that actually explains a lot. Actually, so, sometimes I like most things in this game. I look at it and I think, oh, like. It looked like a lot of dice, but it wasn't that bad. Sometimes I see skinks, skinks do stuff, and I'm like, how, how on earth did they roll that many dice? But that actually makes a lot of sense now. I'm almost certain he doesn't re-roll this. Why would he? Oh, he's actually... I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I wouldn't necessarily have re-rolled that. I certainly don't feel like he's in such a rush that he had to, but... Each to their own, I suppose. Right. So you stand up, and then. I suppose you want to get. Ugh. Send a Saurus. I want to send a Saurus downfield. Saurus is slower. Uh, Saurus is actually not that slow. I thought Saurus was slower than that, but they're actually alright. Use the skinks to mark you. Okay. Yeah, so... I, I, yeah, I feel like we're going to be alright with the skinks this game. Mostly. Um. We will... So I, just, I love to, just love the running animation. I very much just want to bash a lot of... Uh, Bash a lot of beast when if I can. It sucks the skinks only have agi access. Yeah, it does. It does kind of suck the skinks only have agi access. But if they had general access straight off the bat, like I really feel like they'd be, they'd be, they'd be amazing. Um. Uh, they can't really dodge out if they get marked. Yeah, that that like I definitely. Oh, sorry, I'm not right there. Yeah, I can definitely see that in this situation. I feel like I'd quite happily take two Saurus and just punch two Beastmen and try and get a numbers advantage. Like I feel like we're more likely to come out better here than he is. If you get what I mean, if that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong way to go about it, but I feel like I feel like if I can just like man fight Saurus versus Beast Man all day, I feel like we come out on top eventually. Um, yeah, that's that's it, Luke. Like, if the if the um, if the if the skinks could get blocked straight off the bat, they would just be amazing. They'd be so hard to deal with. Mm 
Yeah, it just I like yeah, I really feel like like getting like when like if when you play against lizard men, like when you come up against a team that's had a really good run with the with the with the level ups and they've got like a block skink somewhere really early on. Like if you could do that on all your skinks, oh it would just it would you'd want to cry. They're building a cage around the ball here. It's a solid tactic. <laughs> yeah, not not having block on the Saurus hurts, but um, like for me, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to struggle playing as the Lizard Men, but I also feel like even when I'm playing against Lizard Men and everyone's like, "Oh, the Lizard Men teams don't have block on everyone. It's kind of hard early on." I do understand. I do like. I don't disagree that not having block early on is a problem. But I feel like it, I feel like a lot of the times the lizard men can overcome it, um, just purely because of all the strength. Like because between the crocs and all the strength four, like I feel like you you negate not having block by just getting so many two dice blocks everywhere all day. So I, it's definitely a problem. I definitely agree with you. I, I like sometimes I I think to myself, well, it's maybe not as big of a problem as other, as I would have thought otherwise, but. That's yeah, so, sometimes I feel like the, the lack of block is not really as big of a deal when you've got this much strength 4 and crocs. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, right. Did he dodge away with that guy as well? Okay. So, who do we want to move first? Um, I don't know. I kind of want to... The attacker has an assist. Well, that's fine. We'll take the push there. I want to get a, I want to get a, a Saurus up here. Twinkle toes there. Uh, stand this guy up. Um, it's really easy. Yeah, the... Um, yeah, I, I might again. I've, I've not really played much. I, I suppose it's the same principle as the, um, like the orc team with the black orcs. Like you really want the saurus to get levels early. It's just hard. Like it's. I suppose it's the difference between a really good, a really good lizard men team or lizard men coach and an average one. Like. Likes to be well assisted in the fight. Uh. Yeah, you know what? On like on on that note about the um, dodge isn't worth it. Like I actually, when we're playing the orc team, we actually got a black orc that rolled a double when we went dodge first, and I actually kind of regret it now. Like again, I I like I might I'm kind of inclined to agree with you that we probably would have been better off just going block first. Man fight? Yeah, man fight. Come on. Man fight. We win the man fight, which is good. Uh, there we go. Okay. Sweet. Uh, today, well, today's been a violet. Today has been a kind of a, an all-team an, an all team day. We, we played some dwarves earlier on. Then we played uh, some orcs. Then we had a quick game on the Bretts. And now we have made our lizard men team. Yeah, I definitely... I, like at the time when I when I was when we when we got the double on the orc because it was also our first it was the first level up we had on a black orc um, and I was like oh okay like we've got a, we've got a level up on the black orc and we've rolled a double let's take the dodge and then later on we can get a block and it'll be amazing the problem was that as good as dodge is like we probably would have would have been better off. Yeah, that's it. Like at the time, I was like, "It is like uh, it is still debatable." Like I'm not quite sure which way, but it was um, 
like I, it definitely did make life a little hard that the very first the very first level up we got on a Blackhawk, we took dodge. And then we really did, like, we really, I really did struggle because we didn't have block on any of them. As soon as we got block on one of them, it was like the clouds had parted, the sun came out, and we, there was rainbows. It's like, oh my god, thank, thank the lord, we have finally got block on a black orc, and now everything is so much easier. Um, but, but yeah, I kind of, um, I kind of, I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure which way, which way we'd go with it this time. Yeah, you, your team with your blodge guard tackle saw us time four is a. Uh... Oh, you had better run there. Uh, why did I leave a space open for to move the cage? Uh, I would have to say because I miscounted the squares, or I just didn't do it properly. No, it, it's not like a, it's not like a, a glorious master plan. I'm like, yeah, let me let him, let's let him move the move the cage over here. Uh, I just kind of balls it up a little bit. Mistakes were made. Yeah, uh, I don't know. He's done all right. I don't I don't feel like it's too bad for us though. I feel like we just blitz one of the guys with the Grox and then and then like again try and scream with the. Well, that gives us two dice on him. Stand up. Okay, can we? Uh, yeah, I suppose you just want to do. I suppose. Um. Don't really want to reroll that. And then that works. Oh, stun is nice. Yeah, we we are going to be taking our free two dice on the Minotaur, definitely. Um, if he could talk. And that is very nice indeed. Uh, oh, go on, injure him. Oh, never mind. But a stun is almost just as good. I really like the stun there. I'd be tempted to take a push here over over a down, which is nice. That's good. Oh, we got things are going well. Block, block dice wise. That is very nice. Uh, oh, minus AV. Never mind. Um, and as much as I love to man fight, I'm not going to do it here because if you know, it's like a, it's like a risk for very little reward. Like if this goes badly and this falls over, it just means he can run around here for free. So we'll just leave that for now. Yeah, that was um that was a good turn though. Freeze up this guy, freeze up this guy. This guy's gonna get surfed, hopefully. So we are looking um we're looking we're looking alright. We're looking alright. Yeah, that minus A B that minus A V beast early, man. He's he's gone. He's gone. But at least it, you know, brand new team. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get injuries, better it be a, uh, better it be brand new. So what does he do here? He gets, oh, is this, yeah, this is this guy stood up, so that's kind of a problem. This guy can't just block out for free because of the skinks. So the good the good thing we got the good thing we got going for us here is that if he wants to get rid of all the skinks and the sores, he has to commit quite a few players to do it. Um Again, if he if he hands off, I feel like we still might be able to get If he did the hand off, that would have been a bit weird. Gives him a safe it's be That's okay. We can live with that. 
So he can get this guy out, but we've got like now we've got a skink and a Saurus free. I feel like we're in a reasonably good spot to chase him down. Two Saurus actually. Two Saurus free. Three Saurus. Yeah, I feel like we're doing alright. I feel like we're doing alright. Almost every game you injure a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> you need to do work for us, skills. You need to do work for us. You are You are now in a position of power. You are you are a giant lizard dinosaur man. Well, uh, we can't quite reach him with this guy. If I lose a Saurus, just remake the team. Oh, I don't know. Would we do that? Maybe we'd do that. I don't know. I don't really like. Uh, remaking the team is a bit. I, I definitely can see the point of doing it this early on. Oh, they got the straight up power. Never mind. That'll help the player move without. Oh, KO. But KO skink for an injured beast. See, nosedive, nosedive. You just fall down all the time. Um, right. We could do that in a moment, maybe. Uh, this guy can get, this guy can't get all the way up. But he can get reasonably far. This guy gets over here, so we can do that. Oh well, we got a KO out of it. Could have been a lot worse. I still feel like we're in a reasonably good spot here. It's certainly not easy for him to get enough players over here to protect this. Yeah, it turned like to be fair, what I probably should I probably should not have done um I probably should not have done this before. I, I, I always, deep down in the back of my mind, I have to get over the thought that two dice blocks are reasonably safe. Like, I don't have block and he has low now. It was probably a bad idea. What I should have done is dodged out first. Um, but it's alright. It's alright. Especially with the wild animal. Why does Moobot always talk after? He's, he's stalking you. He's clearly cyber stalking you. That's all it is. You saw a death roll of Shawnee. You saw a death roll of failing GFI and die. That that is glorious. That is indeed glorious. Um. No, yeah, no, Minaras nose dive as a skink. What was I thinking? Exactly. Yeah. To be fair, I had nose dive as a. I take it. Oh God. Every time you say that, I've just got visions of that guy off CSI Miami. Um. Yeah, actually, yeah, I do need to do this first next time. Volkos, you are right. I should get this done early. Um. The carrier himself oh, look at that. That's really risky. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, that is a... Yeah, that is... That is harsh. Look at that skin. Who is that? Who is that? Let's have a look. Who is that? Hell's Reach. Hell's Reach, you are a champ. You are a champ. Oh, would you look at that? Who said do this first? Who said do this first? Whose idea was that? Never mind. Never mind. 
<laughs> I still feel like we're in a good spot, but god damn it. I can't I cannot complain. He just rolled quad skulls, so you know. I kinda deserve this. I do kind of deserve this. Skulls, skulls for the skull throne, as they, as a, uh, God, this, this minotaur, this minotaur is having an absolute mare. Him on his belly or chin may calm him down. This minotaur is having an absolute nightmare. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I, again, like, I, I really don't, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Anyway, the way things have worked out. Like we got an injury in a KO. Yeah, you know what? We should just we should just it's just you know what it is? It's one of these things where you look where I'm looking at it thinking, you know what, we've got two dice and a reroll. Like that should be fine. As, as it turns out, it wasn't fine. And I should be doing the other stuff first. I should have moved this guy first, and I should have moved this guy first, and I should have stood this guy out first. It was my own goddamn fault. It was my own goddamn fault. The lack, the lack of block anywhere on the pitch is like it, it's so, it's so, it's so. Um, yeah, I, at this point now, I do need the, um, I do need the, uh, I do need the reroll for the pickup. Oh, he's got the ball anyway. We still, we still blitz him, but yeah, we probably need the reroll for the pickup. Although, bear in mind that this is his drive. He, this is his drive, so. Right, in order this time. Stand, stand up, stand up. Blitz. <laughs> I was so happy, you know what, I was so, because I forgot to do the surf the last time, I was like, yeah, I must do the surf. We have to do the surf this time. Never mind. Uh, the mistake, well, the mistake, Agatir, the mistake that we made was that Grant, even though this block should have been reasonably reasonably safe, like because we had two dice and a reroll, we should definitely have not done it first. We should have moved this guy first, moved this guy first, stood the crocs up, and then done it. The the fact that we did it first and it went wrong just made life harder for us. That that's all it is. It just we did it. We did stuff in the wrong order. Uh, bonehead. That's not ideal. Let's uh, skip. We don't want to reroll. Nuffles balls, Jim. They're going for the ball. Nuffles balls. Alright, you going over there. Oh, we made the pickup as well, which is very nice. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so things are looking alright now. The skinks are... Yeah, Nuffles balls. They got the ball. Um, yeah, things are looking alright. Things are looking alright. Um... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Snake eyes, good old snake eyes. Uh, but only two KO. We got two KO skinks. That's not. Uh, we we don't care about that. He's got to make all kinds of iffy dodges now. That's <laughs> Oh, Agatir, yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, yeah, no, it's fine, man. I'm, well, I'm always happy to try and answer questions where I can if I maybe, like, glaze over some stuff. But, yeah, the, the, the reason why, the, all it was, it's more just, it wasn't that we did something particularly terrible. Like, the, 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 the dice rolls were bad. Um, it was just that we did stuff in the wrong order. The, the way the game works is that if, when, 
if you try and punch someone and it goes wrong and you fall over, that ends your turn and you don't get to do anything else. So there was a lot of other stuff that we could have done with no risk that we probably should do first and then do the block afterwards. That That's all it is. Uh, yeah, snake eyes, snake eyes. Basically, right, the good thing is we get two chances for our KOs to come back. Um, and it just... I, uh, I don't feel like I'm going to stall. Oh, what well he made the dodge. Well, they had to retreat a little. It was that's that's big unfortunate. Big. But if he does it, it ends his turn. So, okay. So he went for the straight up power. I don't know. I feel like I would have just taken the both down and saved the reroll there, but never mind. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, you go there. You stand up. I like the way he paused there. He was like... He was like, yeah, I might stand up here. Okay, and then we try our reroll, I suppose. Oh, he's done it twice. He's done it twice. Right. Now the question is, do we score? I feel like we do. I don't know. Yeah, no, I feel like we score. Because if we score, we, get, we not only get an extra turn... To, uh, we get an extra try at getting our KOs back. He does get to punch us off the line, but it means we don't have to mess around trying to pick the ball up again if things go wrong. So I'm just going to take my I'm going to take my touchdown while I can and be done with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it, Fraggle. If we stall, they hit. If we stall, they hit us less. But if we don't stall, we get two chances. And I, I, I'd much rather have the extra chances. Score with the Saurus. Um, you know what? If the plan. <laughs> The plan we have is definitely to, um, we have to, one thing I have to remember to do on this team, which we didn't necessarily do on the Orc team with the Black Orcs, which is probably kind of important. <laughs> YOLO4269. YOLO. YOLO, thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, and I hope you enjoy your little goblin darts. That is just... That is a, such a glorious name, YOLO42069. Um, the um, what what I, yeah, I, lo I lost my train of thought completely. <laughs> the um, what we do need to do is when we get touchbacks, like if we ever get a touchback, we need to make an effort to give it to a Saurus and score on him. Like every single time we get a touchback, give it to a Saurus, and and do it that way. Um. Oh yeah, so was he? Was he? Was, was he, if if you were Agatha, if you were asking about what the benefit of not scoring quickly is, um, yeah, that is what Little Skittles was saying. Agatha, man, thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, and I am. Uh, I hope you enjoy your little goblin dance. Um, but yeah, the reason again, what Little Skittles said, the reason for um, the reason for not scoring quickly, basically just is. It gives them less of a chance to score back, really. Oh, we get the good old bribe. Good old-fashioned bribe. Moobot. Moobot with his iron fist. Yeah, the... Um, Gabe. Gabe. Good old Gabe. Good, good old Gabe. <laughs> good old Gabe. Yeah, skink foul, skink foul for the win. Um, we are almost certainly little. Uh, there is no way I'm fouling with the Croxigore skills. You leave me alone. Oh, that's it. It's not Gabe Newell. Is is it Gaben? What's his name? I I still got to look that up afterwards, actually. Yeah, it's Gabe Newell. It is Gabe Newell. I 
So he's going to go straight in and use his bribe on the lizard, on the on the crocs. Oh, he's going to he's going to attempt to foul the crocs, I guess. Which is good. She's. <laughs> Oh god. Come to think of it actually, we've had some really good names. Uh, we've had some we've had some names that I like today. That not this is not to say that I dislike anyone's names that we've had, but we've definitely had some ones that I think to myself, oh that's a I like that name. For different reasons. Like Frag Fraggle Smurf, I actually like Fraggle Smurf. I, I am hoping that Fraggle Smurf is a combination of the Smurfs the Smurfs and Fraggle Rock. Uh and if it is, then I salute you, sir. Uh, the game itself, Agateer, it, um, you get, I think, I think it's eight teams you get. Geeks can be cool. Geeks can be cool. Thank you very much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream and I hope you enjoy your little goblin dance. Um, Agateer, what, what you get with the game is there are, there are currently ten teams in the games. Um, when you buy the game, you get eight of them. And I think the other two are DLC. And then, as the game goes along, then um, they will be releasing more teams every so often, which will, which will also be DLC. So, if you are not a fan of DLC, and I know a lot of people aren't, um, I know a lot of people are not a fan of DLC, then I would definitely look into the DLC, the the how they intend to release the DLC before you buy the game. Um, but uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, the next, the next, is it the next four? Are the next four free for everyone? I, I know they did come out and say the next four are free. I wasn't sure if they were free for everyone or. But um, oh, if yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, if you buy the game now, then they will give you the next four, the next four for free. Um. Oh, did they? Did is that right, Shawnee? They, 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 they did a sale where they included the DLC. Nice. So. Yeah, there's there's lots of ways to basically get like as it works out. I think you end up with about fourteen teams for the price of the game. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth looking into though. Just um, uh, I I think I'm tempted to take the. Never mind. Okay, I'm done. Um. But yeah, that was a pretty. Um, I feel that was, that was a that was a reasonably successful first half. The best defense is a good I tend to buy all this. Oh yeah, I mean, if you bought the game, if you went out and bought the game today, I don't think you would have to pay for any DLC for at least. I don't know for for at least the next four teams. Like the next four are going to be free. And then, so like way down the line, like eight months from now, they might start releasing. They might start releasing teams that are that are going to be that you'll have to pay pay for. But apart from that, it's you know that's going to be a long ways off. Little skin. <laughs> I will do my best skills. I will do my best. Yeah, it, it, the Lizard Men and the Wood Elves are the DLC teams, or they were the DLC teams originally. Um. R rough cow, I definitely do agree with you on that. On that, on that count, I don't think there's, you know, I don't think people are going to want to come to the game a year late and then pay for the game and then buy a bunch of DLC. But I also think, judging by the way that games especially on Steam judging by the way that games on Steam generally go and games that have DLC I find it very hard to believe that if say if say a year down the line they've released another four or five teams rather than trying to make people pay rather than trying to make people pay for the game and pay for all the teams they will they will do like they will go on sale as a pack and say look if you buy the game we'll give you a bunch of teams for free I think I think it would be pretty crazy for them not to do that at some point in the game's future to try and get new players in. Um, 
The viewers can see everything. So, um, I mean, we'll see. I definitely do agree with you, though. I, I think, you know, if if six months, seven months down the line, people want to, people are interested in the game and, and look at it and then go, oh my god, like, I don't want to play for the game and then pay for like eight, nine DLCs. I definitely get that. But I definitely feel like at some point in the future they will be doing like. You know, I suppose like I suppose their version of like a game of the year edition or something like that, where it's like, okay, the game's been out a year. Um, if you want to come, if 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 we want to get new people in, we'll just we'll sell them a package, like pay pay for the game, we'll give you a bunch of teams for free, kind of thing. Maybe they'll do it that way, or I would hope that they would do it that way. Anyway, I think that would definitely make sense. Um. Astrograph is made from a compound of sand, gravel, bone dust, and the skulls of five players agents. <laughs> Tasty. Uh, what was Fraggles one there? Yeah, I definitely feel like yeah, that that's definitely the way that I feel. Um, I feel they're going to go with it. I mean, because what what they did in the old one, in the old one, they just kept releasing a new version of the game with extra teams. So, oh. Simple matter of getting the ball at their feet. <laughs> it's never simple. Yeah, may maybe they'll do that, Nori. I I'm not sure that they'll ever give away the teams for free. But the again, the one thing I would say is that I suppose the one the one good thing is is that you don't you don't necessarily have to buy all the teams to enjoy the games. You can just are we gonna is that what you want? You want the good old Crocs pickup? You know what, maybe I should have done that. Maybe I will do that next turn. I don't know. You're the best ball handler in the team. Is that the way it works? Oh, all the pushes. The attacker has an assist. Oh, there we go, though. That's fine. Oh, never mind. No, um... Uh, how far can these guys get? There we go. Okay. Who's that? Nosedive. Oh god, what was I thinking? Um, there we go. And turn. Yeah, I... Like, my, my view on DLC in general has always been this. Like, a lot of people hate DLC just arbitrarily. It's like, oh, DLC, I hate it, I'm never going to play the game. My, my, view on, my view on DLC has always been this. I don't... Like, I ignore DLC when deciding if I want to buy a game. Like, if there is a game that's out, and it costs me $30, or it costs me £30, dollars, whatever it is your currency, then... Forget to move the last kink. Or is there another one? No, I'll move this one, this one, this one, and this one. I moved all of them. Um, if there's a game that's like 30 quid, 40 quid, whatever, even if there is DLC that comes with it, when deciding to buy the game, I ignore that. Like, all I care about is, you want to charge me £30 for a game, what do I get for my £30, and, and do I think that that is worthwhile for me? The fact that you're going to then try and sell me DLC later on is completely... It makes no difference to me whatsoever. It's just like, do I want to pay this amount of money for what you're offering me? Um, and if I do, then I'll invest in the game, and if I enjoy it enough, then I'll worry about DLC. Um, that's always been my view on it. And, and I do think for games like this, you know, the good thing about the DLC is that 
you don't have to buy all of them. If if you're if you're really not interested in playing a certain team, then you don't have to pay for that team. You can just not, um, which I think is good. Counterpoint, Total War, Warhammer. Um, yeah, no, like, and again, like, I understand, like, people say that Day, Day, Day Zero DLC is rubbish. And I don't necessarily, like, again, this, and, and I'm not saying that it's like, oh, you know, everyone should agree with me. I'm just saying it's never, it's not the sort of thing that's ever really bothered me. As far as I'm concerned, they, if someone says to me, look, we're going to sell, we've got this game and it's 30 quid and we're also selling this extra bit for five quid. Then assist. as far as I'm concerned, I've got three options. I can either, I can either decide that the 30 quid game is worth my 30 pound and buy it and enjoy it. I could decide that the DLC is also worth my money, pay 35 quid, buy them both and enjoy it. Or I could decide that I'm not interested and, and ignore it completely. Like I don't arbitrarily hate DLC for it being for it being day just because they did it on day one like it doesn't make a difference to me i i think it's um i think it's just a case of um i think the i think the bad thing is is when it's not dlc that annoys me it's bad dlc and bad bad games like if someone releases a proper crappy game and then and then has to fix it and then and then fixes it with DLC and expects you to pay for it again. Like that is that is kind of that like that is just shitty. Like it's hot, it's crappy. But then by the same token, in in that case, I'd much rather just uh, I'd probably would have been better off not buying it in the first place. Yeah, right. And, and again, hoax. Like and again, like everyone's entitled to their opinion and and. The argument that you hear a lot of people make is, oh well, they've already made, they've already made the content, they've already made it. Yeah, no, definitely, Shawnee, I'm not disagreeing. Like again, like if 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 you if you generally feel if you genuinely feel like, oh, they've made this game and they've split it up unnecessarily to try and charge me more money for DLC, then as far as I'm concerned, that's like that's that's a perfectly valid like. That's a perfectly valid, valid thing. But my point, or my the way I feel about the DLC is, in that case, then all they've done is made it so that I'm not really interested in paying for. I'm not really interested in paying for the game that they're selling me. The fact that the fact that they've divided up the game and they're going to sell me DLC is of completely no interest to me. Like it really just doesn't bother me. Because then all I do is I go, okay, you're selling me a thirty pound game. Is the £30 you're charging me worth your game? If it is, I'm going to buy it. If it's not, I'm not. The fact that you've got this other stuff that you want me to buy afterwards is completely... I couldn't care less. They need more defenders of the oh yeah, ho like, hoax, honestly, like I said. There... And and you you definitely seem to be of the you definitely seem to be of the opinion that arbitrarily DLC is a bad thing and 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 that that's why I said that there's a lot of people that um there's a lot of people that arbitrarily just dislike DLC like there's there are a lot of people that just arbitrarily dislike DLC I, I get that uh, actually I probably want to keep going here. And if that is the case, then so be it. I'm just not like that. Is all I'm saying. I just don't. I don't feel like DLC is arbitrarily bad. Oh. Well, it's a shame that he fell over, but at least, again, at least it means he has to get some guys, uh... Is it common for lizard men to remove three opponents from the field in one turn? Um, I mean, it can happen. Like, at, at, uh, like it can do. I mean, any team can can do it. It's not common. Well, it, it is common later on, once the Saurus have, like, block a mighty blow. But would you still pass it off before scoring enough with the DLC, bro? Like, my... Yeah, I, my, um, yeah, my... My my thing my thing about it has always just been like I I don't hate DLC I just treat it as it's like anything else in life like 
you take you take what they're offering and you decide if what they're offering is worth your it's worth your money. Like the fact that they've got a game and there's some other stuff that they want to add onto the game. It's like if you don't if that's not your thing, then then don't buy it. Like just don't buy it. Oh, saw us down. Is he? No, okay. So he's not. He's not. He's not crocked, which is good. Um, we've actually failed. Like we've actually failed a couple of um of dodges this game with the good old uh, skinks, which is a shame. Um. One less obstacle for the ball carrier. Textbook stuff. Oh, uh, again, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you on that point, hoax. I agree with you that um, there is a lot to be said for you know waiting. Um. There is definitely yeah I'm 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 in the same boat. I mean I I often like it's like Fallout 4. I really want to play Fallout 4. I just have no burning desire to play it right this second. So I may well end up just playing it in the future at some point. I probably should have sidelined case that would have been better instead of uh I should have gone over there. But we're going to get a guy here. Do I want to make the dodgy shit? No, I probably don't want to make the dodges there even. I'll just leave him there. Look on. Intimidation is the key. It's one of my strengths when I was in the Oh, you yeah, know, no, no. Yeah, sorry. What, I'm, what I mean is like the... Like, I... I the, the, when I say just don't buy it, I mean like... Uh, like... If you're just arbitrarily against DLC in all its forms, like if if you just think any game that has DLC, like I hate DLC, I don't want to, I don't want to do it, then, then like this is like I just feel like then it would you'd be hard pressed to convince someone to buy the game if the, if the, if you know there's going to be DLC. I just mean in general. I don't like arbitrarily. There's a lot of people that just arbitrarily hate all DLC or have problems with DLC. I don't. I just feel like I always feel like it's just the same as any other game. Like whether a game has DLC or not, you just you kind of add up how much you're going to have to pay to play it the way you want to play it. And if it's worth your money, you do it. And if it's not worth your money, you don't. Um. Yeah, it does happen. It, it, it's pretty much like ubiquitous at this point that near enough every game has a has a DLC version or a game of the year version or something yeah and even in, even if not DLC it's it, even not DLC as such did it not have um I assume it must have had a game of the year edition at some point or something that's it So we've just got to survive the block. That, that kind of sucks. But again, we're 1-0 up. So this, I'm kind of alright with this being 1-0 up. Oh, God. And he got stunned by the skink, which is always nice. <laughs> Indeed. The skink is tough.
Um, right, where do we want to go here? Skink, don't fail me now. Have we got a, yeah, we've got a re-roll. Come on. God, I'll tell you what, Skinks have had a good time picking the ball up today. I will give... We can't really complain about that. That's gone well for us. Yeah, indeed, you're uh... a... <laughs> we still got a bribe, haven't we, as well? We should. We really want to try and kick the... Um... There we go. We want to try and kick the Minotaur. 58%. Go on, son. Ooh, go on. Get in there. You... You, oh, he gave him a niggle as well. He gave him a niggle. I'm going to keep you on the pitch. Just because whoever it was. Who was it? Hell's Reach. Hell's Reach. Well done. Well done, that man. I'm going to keep you on the pitch. Just because you were good enough to niggle the Minotaur. So you deserve to stay on the pitch. I will use my bribe to save you, good sir. Yeah, it was almost certainly worth the sending off, but I, feel, I like it's just one of them things. Like it, that that wasn't a tactical decision. That was oh, I just had a skink that niggled their minotaur. I'm gonna keep him on the pitch because he's awesome. You are, you are Hell's Reach. You are doing all right. You are doing all right. You haven't you haven't quite let me down horribly like good old Minaras and his snake eyes. I'm, I'm only messing Minaras, by the way. If you're still here, <laughs> I'm only messing. I'm just going to tease you about those snake eyes for ages. Have you done nothing this game? Didn't didn't you just like uh, uh, you did all right? Didn't you have you had the ball? We gave you the ball. We gave you the ball and you got blitzed and fell over. So uh, <laughs> you are here, Minaras. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. But yeah, Minotaur, Minotaur down. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. You did, you did do your job. You got to stay on the pitch a bit. It was time. Not far from the end zone. Oh. Oh, look at this. Lizard Man team the Lizard Man team is just brutal. Who's that? Slick Mongoose. Get in there. Right. Who who do who who do we feel like? I, I feel you know what nose dive. You're gonna get your chance. You are gonna get can you shine bright like a diamond? You are going to get your chance, good sir. You you are. We're gonna throw our blocks first. Because everyone loves throwing blocks. Oh, to be fair, actually, we should, we really should try and score with the Saurus. I mean, how, we've got, yeah, we've, we've got as much as, as much as I would love to, um, accommodate, accommodate chat. That works. Right, okay. We are... This game has gone so well, we are going to try and score with the Saurus. We, we do actually... It actually makes a lot of sense to try and get... Try and get especially this guy. Like, he's got two or six. Um, he's got two or six. We definitely should... We should actually try and score with this one. So that... If any of them get MVP, they get a level up. 
Yeah, the, the Saurus is 5 plus with a reroll, and we've got plenty of turns to try and do it, so we will definitely. We will definitely do it. That player is so close to a world of hurt. Yeah, we just. Yeah, we, exactly. We got, we got three turns to try and get it done, which is nice. Um. Can I can I get a two dice block here? I can. Okay. I kind of wanna. Oh, you know what? No, because we just blitz with this guy and be done. Be done with it. Well, we could surf this guy first and get him out of the way. Oh, let's do it. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. He went down. Right. So I was going to do it on this guy, but we're going to do it on a different guy now. Uh, you, sir, stay there. Uh, you go here, just in case. This guy's pretty well tied up, I feel like. Um, there we go, right. Uh, let's... I'll stick these guys around the ball, because there is always the chance that if the if the, if the Saurus fails the pick-up, then we get to... Um... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Slick. Slick, you are a legend. Um, how how injured is he? Could we score... Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. Because he we could score again. We're going to do it. Look at that! Slick! You legend! So yeah, exactly. Just roll sixes. Just roll sixes. It's, it's all good. Oh, and his KOs didn't come back either. Right, yeah. The, re the reason I just scored there is because I feel like we've definitely, we've definitely got the capability to score in two turns here. He's only got five players. Yeah, that was nice, man. That was just straight up. Pick up five plus, just... That six, just take that six. Is the key to winning, which must drive the coach crazy, as this team is yeah, this is. You know what? For all, for all, for as badly as the games went earlier, this is this has gone, this has gone well. It was like bad, brilliant. Ah, uh -huh. oh never mind. Well, due to the score. well, 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 see, oh, look at this lot. So we get, we do get a level up on the Saurus first. That is amazing. Yeah, we had a pretty, um, a pretty spectacular game there. Like, dice wise. Nah, Trezif, man, Trezif. <laughs> Trezif, you know what? If there's like a, like, if, if I had like a little angel on one shoulder and a little devil on one shoulder, I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure the devil would be called Trezif. <laughs> Trezif. Che Chessy's always like, yeah, go on, trash talk, turn 16 foul, do it, do it. <laughs> uh, level up, good sir. There we go, general, block. We No messing, just straight up block Saurus, that's the way we're going. I do love that. That was a good result, good result. Um... I feel like I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy one spare skink. I think. Do which way, which way, which way round do I do this? Do I um, dance for us puppet? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. Apo, Apo. I was gonna say. I wonder which way round we do it. We definitely Apo now. And then we um. What we're gonna do is um. I'm just deciding which way I like we need experiment to use balls made of granite. We need a what I want is a spare skink and another reroll. I'm just deciding which way to do it. I will probably go spare skink then reroll. Do it that way. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh waste of time. <laughs>